The last time I checked, biotech industry of India is just 4% of the entire global biotech industry. 75% is owned by United States, the rest is owned by the rest of the world. But the place where I sit, I get to meet a lot of CEOs of biotech companies, of course, in Bangalore, which is the Biotech Silicon Valley of India. And so I asked a question to all of them. I asked that, okay, what excites you? Like, how is going to be the future of research in India? And, um, you know, these CEOs are really brave people. Like, they are trying to build products in the biotech sector where nothing grows, right? Without huge amount of investments, right? So I asked, like, what excites you? And they come up with some technologies and trends, but they also added one important thing, and that is biotechnology sector in India is going to grow from 4% to 40% in no time because India is going to leapfrog technologies. I was like, what's leapfrogging? And they said, okay, let's compare the village in India and village in US. So a village in US, first the landline phones came, right? And then the mobile phones came, right? It took time. So first the cables were laid and then the internet cables were laid and then finally we have the mobile telephony. But in India, 99% of the villages don't have a you know a landline phone. Even BSNL has not reached them, but mobile towers have reached and now they are all well connected through mobile telephony, right? So basically what happened in India, we leaped from the landline thing, we didn't land on the landline, instead we directly jumped onto the mobile technology, right? Same way, India is going to adopt only those technologies which is successful in US and we are going to replicate it, say biosimilars, right? Or generics. So what's happening here? That is where it will grow because we will only pick those which is working and leave which is not working. While US and other parts of the world are trying, failing, trying, failing, then succeeding. We are just picking the best ones and using it here. So here are a few fields which excites the CEOs of biotech companies, which I'll tell you. The first and foremost being biosimilar. Second is CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. Third is edible vaccines. The fourth is cancer research, stem cell research, innovative plant-based proteins, rare uh, disease treatment, and then plant-based meat, that's the latest one. And of course, 3D printing. So there are, I think, nine or 10 areas I told you. But hey, these are the areas of today. The areas of like next year or so, it's going to evolve. It's evolving like anything, right? So keep uh, watching my videos and subscribe to Biotechnica because I'll keep updating you on the latest trends and techniques and traditions of biotech industry. But for now, these nine, nine or 10 ones are really exciting research areas for these biotech CEOs. They are really banking on, on, upon them. And I think you should too. So if you want to make a career in biotech research, these are the nine or 10 um, areas where you can invest your career, right? And for anything else, you can reach out to me, comment below, or you can email me at shaker at biotechnical technology. I know someone out there who is watching this video has a zeal to win a Nobel Prize. And I want to become a support system to each person who is watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.